Hi friends and welcome back. My name is Courtney if you're new. Today we're making my garlic bread recipe. This is actually my mom's recipe and I cannot wait to share it, so let's go. To start, I have an entire bulb of peeled garlic in my little food chopper. Then we have dried basil, dried parsley, dried oregano. I have some extra virgin olive oil as well as some butter. And then we have my homemade French bread in the back, which we'll be using for our garlic bread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually blitz my garlic, but I'm adding everything in there, kind of making that paste. So I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of each of these seasonings, and then I'm also gonna grab some salt because I forgot the salt. <laughs> that is exactly why I'm gonna grab it. And I do like a heaping teaspoon, half teaspoon. And this is just the way my mom made it. I will say my mom did not measure. She measured with her eyes. So I kind of just went with an equal amount for each. And now I'm just in my spice jar. I'm gonna use, I had grabbed kosher salt and then I'm like, wait, no, we're using regular table salt because I'm so used to using kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I am using salted butter, so that's another thing. Then we're just gonna add all of this into here. I'm gonna add in the olive oil. And then I'm gonna use three tablespoons of butter. If you're dairy-free, a great butter that you could use is country crock plant butter, which I really prefer before I use any other butters. If you have a soy allergy, they have a earth balance butter with no soy, one, two, three. And I soften my butter, this way it goes in there pretty nice, as you can see it's really softened. A little too much, maybe? <laughs> That's totally fine, I'll just carefully scrape it out. Use the Let's carefully scrape it. Take a little more just in case for that little bit that's like stuck on. Don't use the sharp side. I should have used my butter knife. That's actually to cut my bread. Oops, it's gonna be garlic bread anyway, so that is totally fine. Oh, well, <laughs> it's plugged in. <laughs> and then we're gonna blitz it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for a puree almost. I'm gonna yeah. smell it. Mmm, the lid smells amazing. And we're looking for a consistency like that. It looks absolutely perfect. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna unplug it. Put it in my little appliance cabinet right down there. We're gonna remove the blade and shake off any extra. We don't wanna lose any of that delicious garlic spread. Got a little bit of oil that puddled up. For spreading the garlic spread, I like to use a spatula like this, but you could use a butter knife. I'll be honest, when I worked in the bakery, I used a glove and just my hand. We would smear it on. It was pretty gross. It was like a big bucket. <laughs> so I'm all for using the spatula. So I'm going to cut this lengthwise. You wanna use a serrated knife. It's so soft and fluffy. I don't wanna waste any bread today. So I figured since I made two, we can't just eat two whole loaves with butter. You <laughs> make one butter with garlic. And look how perfect that is. Oh my goodness, so good. I'm actually gonna put this on some tin foil now because we're gonna bake it in the oven on tin foil. And I don't really use tin foil too often, but for something like this, I use tin foil. This is the parchment I baked the bread on, so I didn't waste that. And I kept it on it all day. I think we're gonna go like this, like that, yeah. Depending on your size of bread, you can make a double batch of this spread or you may even need to half it if your bread is not this large. Mine is the size of a cookie sheet, so it's about 13 inches long, maybe a little bit uh, longer. 
and you want to butter both sides. I'm going to get all of that out. Get it all out of there. Yeah. And see, it just gets off the spatula. You got to really mold it off. Keep getting it all. There's a lot in those grooves. Get it all out. All that flavor. Get on my bread. Mm-hmm. That is right. When I use the edge of the bread, it really scrapes it all off. So I just do like this to get it all off. And then that looks great. And then we're going to use the back of the bread because it comes off that much easier. I don't have to use the heel again. And then, oh, there we go. Yes. It looks amazing. My oven is saying I am ready. And my bread is almost ready for you. I'm going to add a little bit from that bread over to this bread because that one got a lot. But no matter what, it's going to be perfect because we're going to sandwich these guys together. Like a garlic bread sandwich. That's how we bake it first. Or you could bake it separately. And if you did not want to use the fresh garlic, I'm going to be honest, my mom used granulated garlic and garlic salt. So be my guest to not use fresh garlic. You could use about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of granulated garlic, depending on your size of bread. And then I'm just going to sandwich these guys together now. Perfect. Like it was never cut. <laughs> and oh, it looks great. Bread's a little thick. <laughs> um, so I may have to put, yeah, I'm going to have to put another roll of tin foil on top a little bit. As you can see, it's a thick one. I'll just put another piece on top since it's a little too thick. Totally fine, but you want to make sure that the tin foil goes up because you don't want the butter to seep down. And then you want to buckle those sides up. So that looks perfect. Now I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet and we're going to bake this at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and put it onto the broiler for one to two minutes to brown the top, get it nice and crispy. So now if you wanted, you could have done this mixture with a little bit of mozzarella to give it like a cheesy bread. You would want to keep them open and separated. And then if it doesn't brown enough in 10 minutes, you'd still want to broil it. We're going to carefully unwrap this. It's going to be a little hot. Ooh, hot. Not too bad, actually. Hot. <laughs> the bread is nice and toasty hot. I'm going to put this back in and broil it for one to two minutes. I'm actually cooking chicken, so I'm gonna continue cooking that too. Garlic bread is done. I got a nice crisp on the bottom. I broiled it and got it nice and golden on the top. And if you want, you can go a little bit darker. My husband likes it darker. I do put it in a little bit for him more. This is the shade I like. This is the shade he likes. So it really depends on your preference. And you can absolutely just cut half and then put it right back in. I'm gonna go in for a bite. I let it cool quite a bit because it was burning hot. Mm, 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 -hmm, mm. This is everything you want in a garlic bread. And the bread is amazing too. Fresh garlic caramelizes when you cook it. I'm not sure if you can see the, like that layer of butter and oil. Just so good. Mm, mm hmm It's garlicky, buttery, herby, and I love it that it's crunchy. I'm gonna go and enjoy my meal with my family and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. We'll see you soon. Bye friends.